Welcome back to Strata Games. I'm your host, Matthew. Today on Simple Strategy, we're going to be looking at the game Small World, designed by Felipe Kayertz and produced by Days of Wonder. My advice for this game is going to be a little different because I feel like there's really only one strategy. Conquer as many territories as you can. Pretty straightforward, right? So I'm mostly going to be talking about tips as well as some potent race power combinations that I found to be excellent. My first tip, don't spend too many coins if you can help it. Coins are each worth one point, so unless there's a really killer race power combination, it's usually better to just go with the more boring option that doesn't cost you anything. In addition, when you're picking a race, remember that you need a minimum of two tokens to conquer an empty territory which means you'll want to start with as many tokens as you can. Because of this, races that start with a lot of tokens, like Ratmen and Amazons, I would say tend to be much better than Dwarves, for example. During your first conquer with a new race, I would also recommend trying to conquer as many mountains as possible, especially if it's your first race, before declining. Occupied mountains can be a huge pain to conquer later, so you'll be able to rack up tons of points on your declined race just sitting there. And now for the great combinations. Stout Ghouls is one of my favorites to start with. If you get lucky and you get it on the first round, just conquer a few regions and then decline immediately. During the second and third rounds, you'll be able to fight with two races instead of just one. Pillaging orcs is a great combo as well. Because orcs already like capturing occupied territory, pillaging means that you'll get not twice as many, but thrice as many points each time you capture an occupied space. And it's a similar idea for pillaging skeletons as well. Whenever a power wants to achieve the same thing that the race wants to achieve, it's usually a good combo. My next one is a little more dependent for how many players are in the game. Sorcerers are always pretty good, but they get way better if you're playing a four or five player game. And they get even better than that if you're able to combine them with flying. Once your sorcerers are flying, every single space on the board is considered adjacent to you, so you'll be able to convert anyone you like to your cause. Now dwarves, they pair really well with... What? Ah, who am I kidding? Dwarves don't really go well with anything. Maybe Underworld if you really wanted. I would just avoid dwarves unless there's a ton of coins stacked in there from other people skipping them in the past. They just have too few tokens to really affect the board in any meaningful way. And finally, the most busted combo I've ever seen, Commando Skeletons. When I commanded these spooky skeletons, my plan was to just abandon all my regions every turn and conquer a ton of new territory. You can easily take four to five regions every single turn, destroying your opponent's declining tokens and even their current races. And they can't even try to fight back, because if they do, you just replenish all your skeletons after another round of conquering. There was one time I picked up these scary guys as my second race and just used it for the rest of the game, because I could always have more tokens. I can't say you'll always get lucky like that, but it's still an incredibly powerful combo. You've just leveled up. Thanks for watching Simple Strategy. If you think we missed something or you have more tips, just leave them in the comments below. Let us know what games you'd like to see on future videos and we'll see you then.